Hey everybody, we're outside now ready to try some mud painting. So I have some cups ready to go. I'm going to fill up four, see if I can make some four different kinds of mud. So we have the soil from the garden, the vegetable garden. It's like a topsoil kind of stuff. And then we're going to dig some soil from just from the backyard here and put that in another cup so we have soil in all four cups the dirt from just from the backyard here is a little bit lighter than the soil that we have in our vegetable garden so we have two different shades if you can see this one's lighter and this one's darker. Then we need to add some water. So we add a little bit of water to each of them. Try and make it like paint. And I was reading online that it's a good idea to add tempera powder to make some colors. I don't have any of that. Or you can add food coloring. I don't have any of that either. So thought we would try a couple of things that I found on our um, spice shelf. We have turmeric, which is a yellow color. We're going to try putting that in one of them. And we have paprika, which is kind of an orangey red color. We're going to try putting that in one of them. So I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to dump it right in and see what happens. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's the fun part of this activity. Might be a little bit messy, so you should wear your old clothes or an apron. I'm mixing up my paint right now. And uh, the paprika is turning it a kind of a deep orangey color. Let's try this one. Might be handy to have two spoons. Oh, Murphy, you want to paint too? No, you can't have that, buddy. Add a little bit more water because it's very dry right now. Murphy, oh, you get a good view of my dog here. There we go. Move out of the way, buddy. Whoa, I put a lot of turmeric in there, so it's pretty thick. So you might have to keep adding some water until it gets the right consistency where you think you might be able to paint with it. I don't know if you can see that. I should probably move up closer. There you go. Kind of a mucky. Yep, even more water. So when you think you have your paint ready to go, you need to have a hard surface. And you can use regular paper, but this kind of painting is not going to last. So when you're finished your painting, you should take a picture of it because when it dries, it is going to flake off and it won't last, okay? So I have my four colors. I have some paint brushes and if uh, you don't have paint brushes we did another activity earlier um, that we made up paint brushes with grass or with um, leaves from um, pine trees so you can use whatever you want whatever you have so I'm gonna try it and then I'll hold this up so you can see how it looks so I'm gonna try the dark dark earth first and I'm gonna just make a rainbow shape so you can see all the colors okay so I'm gonna put that over here and I'll hold it up to show you there's our dark color dark earth from the vegetable garden now we're going to try 
the lighter color, Earth, from the yard. We'll put that one next. Oh, it definitely is a different shade of brown, that's for sure. Which is interesting. It's all dirt, but it's all different shades. So there's our next shade. Now I'm going to try paprika. Let's see what that one looks like, the orangey color. This one's kind of thick. We'll see what happens here. Yep, the orangey color did make a difference. The paprika. Let's show you what that looks like. It's kind of orangey there. Now we're going to try this big thick yellow mess here with turmeric. Ooh, that's cool. That does look yellow. There we go. So, we've made four different shades of mud paint that you could try. You could paint a whole bunch of pictures, take um, photos of them when they're done, because remember, they won't last when it dries up. It might flake off. And it is messy, but it's lots of fun. And we'd love to see some pictures of what you paint outside today. Have fun experimenting with your mud paint.